Hey, it's Doug Wolf with Time Bolt. The purpose of this video is to get you on ramp as quickly as possible. We pray at the altar of brevity and speed, so let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna show you best practices to set up silence duration settings so you can quickly render your first output. Okay, but before we dive in, I just want you to know this entire video was captured and shot and edited inside Timebolt. We're talking what you see here with capture, the background music, scene edits. While there's lots of takes, it all happens on one timeline, and that's linear speed editing, baby. Now, the first thing to check is go into your settings, which is right here. You click that, make sure that audio normalization and noise reduction are turned on. You wanna make sure those are turned on. It just makes the process simpler. It makes your audio much crisper and cleaner. Then we're gonna upload a file. Now Timebolt is gonna work with every major video and audio format. Once you get the video file uploaded, you'll be able to preview both the video and audio right here in this timeline and play bar. You should be able to see both audio and video. That is unless you have our rendering H.265 or AVI files in that case. It won't show up in the video preview, but it will still render um, with those same containers and formats. The AVI will actually be switched over to an MP4. The first lever to get right is gonna be your silence detection options. First place, you wanna to go to remove silences longer than, you want it to be between 0.5 to one second. The shorter you get in duration, the more cuts that the software has to make and that all has to be stitched together at the end. So the ideal duration again is between 0.5 to one second. Now to compare the duration levels, I tested how long it would take to render a one hour video on my MacBook Pro quad core. I set the duration to one second and it rendered in about five minutes. I set it to 0.2 and it took about 24, which is five times as long. But of course, this is time where you're not actually working and the software is working for you. Next, you're gonna check your audio levels. If your audio level, if your audio and mic are kind of dirty, you may have to adjust these suggested settings, okay? These automatically generated settings, as you can see right here, this is a non-mic audio. And so what I typically do, if you have these little moments of silence here, what I typically do is I increase the filter below by two. So I actually go up. So instead of 37, I do 35. You have to make sure you hit update silence detection. I'm always putting left and right padding at 0.15 or 0.2. So I would go down another two. So I go down to 30, 33. As you can see now, the silence is gone and you can still preview on the timeline what's happening in the silence. And then you can begin manually editing your timeline. Most of the time you're shooting video the same, the, same, the same way each time. You're gonna have the same type of silence detection settings. So the next time you upload that file, um, it should all work very, very smooth. The second variable to impact render speed is transitions. It impacts it quite a bit. As cool as these are, you don't wanna start using transitions in a 30, 60 minute file because it increases render time substantially. So if you're looking to get to a faster render speed, jump cuts still work just fine. It's a super cool feature that we're gonna to work to continually enhance, but you have a whole litany of options here when it comes to alternatives to the jump cut. Now you can move to quickly render a video in Timebolt. You can change the output file path. And what's new in Timebolt 4th generation, now it's actually outputting a rendered file that's the exact same quality, bit rate, and compression ratio as the source file. To begin rendering, if at this point you'd love to have an audio only file, we also have the ability to strip out the audio and produce a lossless WAV file so you can push it out to podcast channels as well. You simply click this, add to render queue as a WAV, and you can see that both are in the render queue. At this point, I just click start rendering, time bolt runs in the background, that's rapid video editing. I would ask you check out our next video. It's how to edit a timeline where you can cut any scene or, scene or word with keyboard shortcuts. And I'm out of time.